Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Grounded. Check it out. We've got some feathers out here. These might be a little bit tough to get. They look like the small feathers as well. Um, so they're probably... Only oh, look, I could use it as a boat. That's hilarious. Um, it's probably going to give me one feather each, but there's there's a couple of them out here. If I could chop it, please. Thank you. All right, so there we go. So apparently there's big feathers and small feathers. And I've been getting a lot of small feathers. Some people say the, the feathers only give you one if they fall in the water. Some people say that it's, there's just two different kinds of feathers. And it's random. I have no idea. All I know is I've gotten a decent amount of feathers today. Two. I'll take it, man. Two is not nothing. Um, I found something else to uh, spend my feathers on as well. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But one thing I've been wanting to do is check out underneath my base. Nobody's told me to come down here. So I'm assuming there's nothing here. But I do want to look around down here just to see what's what. So there's a lot of algae down here, which is good. There's a tadpole, which is interesting. But I'm not seeing anything else. And like I said, if there was something crazy down here, someone would have told me to come down and get it. Uh, so I'm assuming there's nothing interesting down there. Which is fine. Just figured I wanted to check. Um, today is going to be all about building. I want to get out and do some more um, exploration. I want to get back to the sandbox, kill some more antlions. Apparently the antlions are much tougher in the sandbox. Because they can go under the sand and everything. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just going to you know, eventually get to get there. But I do need to do some building. I have not been doing enough building. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is take out these bug parts and analyze them. So let's go do that right now. All right. And here we go. Analyze time. Okay, alright, so we got the poncho, the wide brim, the spurs, and- Oh, we can make repair glue now! Cool! That's gonna be good. Uh, analyze. And there's the great sword. Is that the sword I want? I think it is. So we just got a brain power unlock, which we got black ant, black ant sword, black ant shield, black ant shell. I think we gotta kill some black ants. <laughs> now, I'm, the, I'm not pro at this game, but I think we're probably gotta kill some black ants. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's take a look at those uh, those items. Okay, so we're just going to come in here really quick. So we got the antlion... Gr oh, so... Wait a minute. The other sword wasn't... Wait, didn't I get two... Yeah, the black... Is that a... That's a tier two sword? I feel like that should be a tier three now. I don't know. What's better? Should I use the black... Black... Black ant sword? Or should I use the, the antlion greatsword? That's a tough call. That is a tough call. Obviously, this is more like the weapon I've been using. It has no stun, but it's a little bit faster. It's also got a um, some kind of uh, thing on there. I'm not sure what that means. Um, is that the same for everything? Yeah, it's the same for... Oh, that's probably the kind of damage it does, I'll bet. Anyway, I'll look into that. Uh, so I'm not really sure which one of these I'd like to get. The black, the black ant sword will allow me to use a shield. And I can now make a better shield. Um, which, yeah, okay, gotta kill a lot of black ants at some point. Um, oh, what is this? The black ant shovel? Yes, okay. Yep, we gotta kill, we gotta kill some black ants. I mean, I, I think that's what we're looking at here. I'm kind of surprised the black ant sword is not tier 3. So you guys let me know, what do you think about the antlion great, great sword and the black ant sword? So as I'm out here gathering some resources, uh, I'm gonna, first of all, I have different building resources now, but I'm... What the fuck was that? Something just die on there? That sounded like a spider. So, oh, no, it wasn't. It was one of these guys. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I have different stuff to build with, but I'm going to stick with the weed stems for the rest of this base, and I think I will use the brick-looking things on some future base. Uh, you know, I, I can make that, like, slurry stuff, and I can make that, like, mushroom brick stuff, which looks really cool. Um, the problem is, you know, you're not really going to see it inside of that base anyway. So why bother, right? Yeah, exactly. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that down. Do I have enough for another one? That's going to be a lot of stuff. I don't think I want to cut it down unless I have room for all of it, and I don't think I do on this one. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in there, and we are going to take care of some business. So guys, what's the best way to get food? Is it really, like, going in the water, getting tadpoles and cooking them, or putting them on the drying rack, and the same thing with going up there um, during the night and getting the, uh, what do you call it, the fleas? Yeah, I think they're, no, they're not fleas. Gnats, gnats. Is that really the best way to get food? I was hoping to cook some food. Uh, I have not found a cooking recipe that I really like. They all are kind of grindy. Like, really, really grindy. Now, they all have separate, like, extra stats. 
And I'm thinking the extra stats are what you want. Like, it's not like you eat just to eat. You eat to get the bonus stats. So, um, but that's not really what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is a way to eat. Like, kind of like a passive way to eat. I don't want to have to, like, do anything to eat at this point. I want to just be able to go to my thing, collect my food, and move along with my day. Uh, so, I'm not sure if there's a way to do that. Maybe maybe farming. That's the only thing. Maybe making mushrooms or something. I, I don't really know. But I hope there is a way um, to do that. All right, so I'm going to make a bed as well, because apparently when you sleep in the bed, you get like a double buff, which makes you, um, like for the whole day, makes you use less food and water, which is going to be great. It does take some uh, some crow feather pieces, but only two. I think that's definitely worth it. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to come over here to our tools and weapons, and we are going to take our... Will all the stuff go together? See, all the, all the shin pieces go together. I kind of wish all the sets would go together, like all the ant stuff would go in the same spot but apparently that is not the case am i missing an ant piece no i was not they were all in my inventory so let's just go ahead and put all the all, on all the ant pieces and let's go ahead and finish up some walls down here uh do i need any nope just need this stuff we don't even need any rope for this there we go beautiful um i probably only gonna make this thing too high and that'll probably be it because I do want to make some more bases. I don't really know how my bases are going to work. That this, I'm thinking like this will probably be my main base, or maybe I'll make the other base like on the. Um, I, I saw I was getting distracted because I saw this thing moving around that I thought there was something in here. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about making this my main base, but making like all my food stuff in the base that's going to be on top of the fence. Um, I'm not really sure. It, it's a little inefficient because I have to go over there every time I want food, but. I do want reasons to have multiple bases. I want to make multiple bases because the building this game is really fun. But I don't want to be just making bases just for the hell of it. So, But I might. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Let's go ahead and take all these and all of these. And let's... You know what? I'm going to finish up this bed right now. Well, maybe I won't. I don't think I have the, uh, the acorns. Uh, the, uh, acorns would be in here. Nope, definitely don't have any acorns. Alright. Nope. No time like the present to go get some. Got the acorns. Now all I need is the rope and the clay. Alright, let's go ahead and make ourselves a bed. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, bruh. Alright, let's go ahead and put this back. And then we're going to put down some flooring. I think I'll just hold on to what I got on me right now. I do, go, I do want to make sure I go to bed at a certain time because I don't like um, messing up my sleep schedule. Because you can only sleep at certain times. So if you go to bed at a weird time... It, I think it can mess up your sleep schedule. Alright, so let's kind of go this way. Alright, like that. Like that. Yeah, this will only, this will definitely only be two floors. Because this is getting to be a very expensive build here. And if I'm not going to be cooking in here or have drying racks, I'm really not going to need more than two floors. Alright, oh, it looks pretty good. Uh, do I want to put a... Yeah, you know what? I think I do. Yeah, just like that. That looks good. And then we take these and we fill in the gaps. Like so. Careful here how I walk. You know what? Let's just build what we got so far and I'll fill in the gaps later. I'm also going to get a torch because I want to... I, You know what? I might just stay up during the entire night. I don't think you have to... Oh, I kind of want to... You know what? Never mind. I want to sleep because... um. I want to get that buff, for sure. Alright, so... Torch. There we go. We will eventually put my down, you know... Says I light up a room. Yes, you do, right up. you do light up a room, my friend. Alright, uh, can we do this from down here? Really? It's kind of weird I can't put that in there, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to come up here to do this. Alright. Beautiful. And now we're going to take these up, and then we're just going to take a whole other pallet. I want to, like, get all these pallets gone by tomorrow, or at least empty, so I can go cut down more, you know, of the um, weed stem thingies so they can grow back. The, like, the faster you cut them down, the faster they grow back, right? So that's what you want to do. Okay, put that right there. Come on. There we go. And work our way over this way. Right, and then right there. Alright, it's getting done. This will be the last time I have to... Well, I'll have to do a ceiling. 
But I, I don't think the ceiling's going to be, like, floor pieces. I think there's an actual, like, ceiling I can make, right? Like, these, does it have to be that? There's no, like, wood ceiling or anything? Yeah, whatever. That stuff's cheaper, so who cares? I've been... I'm tired of getting these weed stems, to be honest. So I then slept in the bed, and I've got comfy hunger. Sleeping in a comfy spot grants you an all-day bonus to hunger fullness. And the same thing with comfy thirst. That is freaking fantastic. Let me see if I get any food. Um, yeah, I do have some food in my inventory. It needs to be cooked. So let's go ahead and cook this and this for now. Whenever you cook it, it resets the spoilage meter. So I cook in strategic ways, I guess. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cook up those two. And nice the and one clean. cool thing I've been having that's been passive food is my aphid. The aphids are killing themselves on my spikes out there. Maybe I should put more spikes around and just like wait for aphids to run into them. Seems to be uh, working well so far. All right. So I think these things are just about empty. I might have like one more. So let's move them all out here and see what... what the, oh, <laughs> That hunger thing always scares the shit out of me when it goes down. It sounds like a monster. All right, so all of these are empty except for this one. So let's go ahead and use this one up. And then I will go ahead and cut down some more weed stems. Man, these weed stems are freaking expensive. Woo-wee. All right, so let's go ahead and B button. That's the button I'm looking for. And let's do this. And this. Um, right up, oh, damn it. All right, fine. Right there. Let's get back up top. It's good for everything there. Yeah, I know I'm hungry. Take it easy. I'll be fine. Uh, what about here? Maybe just right here, right? That'll be the last spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So there's the last spots. Let's go, let's go get some freaking munchies. I got the munchies, bro. All right. Here we go. And... Aphid roast? Oh, Beautiful. Not bad. That's what I'm talking about. Didn't even fill me up that much because I was so hungry, but that's okay. It will be fine. Grab all this and there. 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 Oh boy. Okay, come on. There we go. Now normally I would have the windows down downstairs in the same spots as the windows upstairs. But that's because usually it looks better when a home has the windows in the same spots on, you know, different floors. But I don't think that's going to be a problem with this one. Um, I still might want to put the windows in the same spot just for just for symmetry. But we'll see. Let's come out up here and see what we got. Definitely is going to be the last floor of this base, no doubt. Okay, so the problem is I won't know where the windows are. Okay, yeah, maybe I could figure it out. Alright, so there's a window right there. Okay. And third person really helps with this. Uh, window right there. Alright, that looks good. Um, is that matching up with the window below? I think it is. Yeah, it is. There's two windows right here. Okay. Uh, what do we got down here? Window right there. Come on. There we go. And... That looks to be about it. Let me uh, just go double check and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Okay, so I got everything set up up here the way I want to. Um, this part's going to be like a little deck type area. Um, I might even put some things over there. And maybe make the deck go outside through that little... Uh, this little hole here. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna have like a little loft area up here This is gonna come over here and there's gonna be like a little loft here Which is where my bed's gonna go and I'm not really sure I'm gonna do the walls up here just yet I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just start using all this material so we can go out and get some more The nice thing is the um the walls and the uh Everything will be a lot cheaper than the floors or maybe actually uh, Yeah, well not a lot cheaper but cheaper Hey man, every little bit helps. If you save one stem on each item, you know, that saves, uh, over time, you're going to save a decent amount of resources that way. Alright, go. We'll stay on the, we'll stay on this floor for now. Oh, apparently that is all of the stems we have. 
So you know what that means. Time to go chop down some more stems. Man, I could have swore I slept in the bed, but I didn't get the buff this time. Is the buff every single time? Or maybe I slept in my, um, I think I might have slept in my lean-to by accident and just didn't realize. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, either the bed doesn't give the buff every time or I slept in the lean-to. And what I did was when I woke up in the morning, I realized I didn't, you know, get the buff. I, uh, destroyed the lean-to. Not gonna happen again. All right, anything out here of danger? Does not look like it. All right, so we're going to get into some danger now because I've gotten all of the weeds on this side. Now we need to go on this side where the spiders are. But before we do that, I'm going to go grab some food because I do have some food up here. Um, I went in and cooked food and then I left it up there during the night. I, I was wondering if it would burn or anything or if you could just leave food on there. Also, may does food start spoiling when it's on here? Let's see. Um... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right, well, you win this round, game. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go fight the spider, because I'm probably going to have to take some of this food, um, because I'm probably going to take some damage. Although, I don't really like going into a fight uh, where I'm going to, like, you know, I've got the possibility of my food being too low, because if my food gets too low, then you simply just start, you know, your, your stamina goes to shit. So, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna grab this and yep, there it goes. Okay, can't have it. Just pretend it's beef jerky. It is beef jerky, buddy. You go, boy. Uh, I did look into the glue. Okay, I can't do any. I can't make glue right now. I need a glue, glue masher or something like. I think it's called a glue masher. And in order to get that, um, you need to defeat the ant hill black ant lab, which is the next one I'm gonna be doing. So should be pretty fun. Two and three. Yep, missed. All right, one and two and three. Hit the last one. I think you have to hit all three for your for your bonus damage. One and two and three, which is like impossible with this guy. You know what? Let's just do this. There you go. I can heal through your bullshit. That's what you get. That's what you get, bro. I don't even have to use a real healing thing on you. I'm just going to use a freaking bandage. Suck it, you little turd. <laughs> right, I guess I'm just gonna kill everything over here and not like then I don't have to worry about anything. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Uh, Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Let's dance. Two and three. One block. One and two and three. Yep. Stand there. I love when they stand there. One and two and three. One and two and three. Am I gonna get the rage thing yet? I think I can make a rage drink. Maybe I should do that. One and two and you're done. I need to get a better one-hander. That's what I need. Go. So I think if you block, you can still get poisoned. Three. There you go. That's what you get when you mess with me. Suck it, nerds. Okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna take one of these. Why not? Just in case they get jumped again. You might be thinking, Cage, you just own these guys. What are you worried about? Yeah, but the thing is, I'm going to be wearing ant, now. ant armor now. So if I get jumped and I don't see it, could cause some issues. Let's just chop these bad boys down and hope that all goes well. All right, I've got a thought stuck in my head. One I cannot get rid of. Um, number one, you could put two separate lines to single zip lines, right? Like zip line anchors. Someone was telling me that. Like I built unnecessary zip line anchors. Uh, so what I'm wondering is, I'm going to be spending a lot of time near the picnic table and in the sandbox. Can I do a zip line from here all the way to over there? I don't know how the height difference would work. Um, I don't usually like to do things I'm not sure about because I hate having fail videos. Um, I usually like to know what I'm doing so my videos are successful. But I think I'm going to allow myself to possibly do a fail video today. I think that should be pretty cool <laughs> one way or the other. Um, all right, so here's what we got to do. We got to see what we need for the zip line. Uh, we could get weed stems out there. We're going to take clay and silk rope. Um, all we need is four clay. 
So I'll take 15 because whatever, it still takes up a spot. It's irrelevant. I'm going to take all of the silk rope because it's going to be expensive, I'd imagine. All right, we're going to take this, maybe make some more silk rope. I doubt it'll be got, done by the time we get get out, like, are leaving, but, because I want to do it today. Um, it's, it's like around noon, so I, I still should have some time. Um, we're not going to need any ant armor or bug parts. So let's just go ahead and drop these in here. That's all looking pretty good. I don't really know if I need the badge or not. I'm going to leave the badge here. Probably won't need it. All right, there we go. Um, I can get weed stems out there. And that's it. All right, so we just got to go out to our base out there and see if we can make a uh, zip line. Again, I don't know how this works. I don't know if there's going to be a zip line that's like... Um, I guess what I want to do is be able to zip line back. If I could zip line back today, I will consider this a good day. And I don't... Hmm. Maybe I should make another zipline anchor just in case. Well, oh, the tree's going to be in the way, isn't it? Hmm. So maybe we should make another zipline anchor here to avoid the tree issue. Probably on the roof. So I must have slept in the wrong bed the night before because I did get the buff this time. So um, that is awesome. At least that's my hypothesis. Um, these ants are attacking something. They are not happy campers. Oh, they're hungry. They're hungry ants. Well, th that's all right, guys. You can have that stuff. I've got, I've got my food. What's over there to the right? Giant spider, probably. So let's go to the left. All right. So I've got everything I need. I don't know if this is gonna work, but you know we're gonna kind of have to see. Uh, if I could just zip line either there or back, like even if I can't go back and forth, if I could do one or the other, that will cut out half of the travel time every time I go there. And maybe I could figure out a way to come back and forth. The the, uh, the tree is in the way, though, which is um, causing a little bit of an issue. But, you know, we'll just have to see. And right now, I'm just running through. You know, whatever happens, happens. And I'm not stopping. And I'm also not going into the, into the haze. So I'm going to stay over here to the right. And I think there's going to be some stink beetles in the way. Or some stink bugs. And we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. We got the ant mound here, which... Um, the soldier ants don't take too kindly to me, unless I'm wearing my ant armor. They're freaking fashion police, you know? So. Alright, so this is a bit of a... You really gotta kind of thread the needle here between danger on the right and the, the haze on the left. And I've got multiple ants on me now. I mean, the ants aren't gonna be able to do too much. It's more the stink bugs I'm worried about. So let's come on right through here. And so far, so good. Might want to go to the right a little bit here. Uh, no threat. Get some stamina back. There's the tape. Oh, I hear a threat. Although I don't have the little threat icon yet, so it seems to be okay. All right, we are now. What base? What should we call this base? The um, the picnic base or the uh, the what do you call it? The oh, geez, something's still on me. Um, or the sandbox. I think the sandbox base is better. So I'm probably gonna spend more time in the sandbox. So, all right. There's where we're going. I think we're gonna have to. I can move this, right? So let's just let's just go ahead and make it right now. The hell with it. I'm pretty sure I can move it. Let's kind of put it right there. Drop everything in there. Okay, and then we're gonna need some stems. And look at this. I got some stems all ready to go. Look at me. All right, one more. Okay. And moment of truth. Connection blocked. Damn it. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and relocate this over here and see if we can get this connection unblocked. I think the grass is going to be in the way, right? Grass is, is a block. Pretty sure. Yeah, connection blocked. Oh, man. I think we need more height. Hmm. Let me see if I can find a place for this. The connection blocked is out of there. Um, it's going to take 50 things for this. Okay. Let's go ahead and save the game. <laughs> 50 freaking things. So even if I have a way back, I can't... I'm not going to be able to afford enough of this stuff. So... Alright, let's just put it all in there. Nope. Okay, so we can go from there to here. Uh, because it's... it's Basically, it's higher over there than it is over here. So what I would do is... Um, I'm going to run back to my base, and I'm going to take the zip line here and just kind of see how it is. Alright, and then what we can do is we can make a staircase. Now I can make a I can make a trampoline elevator, honestly. I didn't really have a good time making the trampoline elevator. I'd rather just make stairs. So that's what I'm gonna do. I can make some stairs up to a high platform and use that platform to get back. Alright, looking at the line over here, it's making me a little nervous because it doesn't look like 
it's really going down the opposite way. Uh, I'm not really sure. We'll just kind of have to see how it goes. Let's just get on up here. I mean, it, this elevator is pretty cool, but it's just, you know, I, I'm not going to have to get that much height. And it's kind of like, I, I it was irritating making it. Uh, so, yeah, this is definitely going down. So this is going to be a slow run, but it'll be definitely faster than me running over there myself. Alright, hopefully I'll gather a little bit more speed. Can I get attacked on this thing? Oh, yeah, this is slow. This might be a little bit too slow. Uh, I could put the thing up there, I guess. Make a little staircase going up there. The cool thing about this is it's it's automatic, so I don't have to like pay attention. I can set myself up like this and then go get a drink or something. You know, so... It's not a terrible design, but... Um, yeah, and, and one going from there down might be a little bit of a problem. I'm thinking, you see that little rock path in the, behind the gazebo? Or is that a gazebo? I don't know what that thing's called. I forget what it's called. Um, but whatever it's called. Oh, no. Oh, but I could still hook up to it. Alright, so I just gotta come over here. And then hook up. Oh, boy. This is, uh, this is scary. There we go. Alright, maybe I could use that as like a drop, uh, like a, a halfway point or something. That root there. I don't know, a lot of spiders in the area. I don't think I'm going to want to deal with that. Oh, this is going to go, no, this is not going to work. It's going to go right through this planter. I'm going to fall. And I can be attacked on this thing. Okay, well that's not good. Yep, and okay, yeah, this isn't going to work. Alright, I tried one more time. I don't know why. Um, it was. It's probably going to be a waste of time. Uh, I think this one's going to be even slower than the last one, and it might, you know, stuff might get in the way. We're just going to kind of have to see. Um, but I am going to try one more time. I do have a way to get from the picnic table base um, to this base, and that's simply build on top of the pic picnic table. Not so much a base. I don't want a base up there because I don't want the I don't want to deal with the um with the bees. I know bees aren't supposed to attack you, but um, I have been attacked by one bee up there. Um, sometimes they do go aggro. It's kind of weird, uh, and I, I just don't want to deal with them. Uh, so I am going to, uh, put a zip line up on the picnic table that's going to bring me back to base. And that should be plenty of height, uh, to get back to base. I just, I don't know if anything's going to be in the way, you know? So we're just going to see. I'm going to get back to base right- I'm going to get back to base right now. We're going to take the zip line over to the outpost, the picnic table outpost, and we'll see. It's probably going to be pretty slow. I honestly don't mind the slowness if it just works. Uh, but, you know, we'll just have to see how it works. Um, I don't expect it to work. Spoiler alert, I don't expect it to work. So my plan when I revisit this, okay, again, this is probably not going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this zip line right here, and I'm going to build a walkway up there, and I'm going to put it up there, okay? And then I'm going to zip line from there down to there, and that should work. That should work. Uh, and then I'm going to go from the picnic table probably to right here, because I can't go down too far, because if I do, um, the grass and stuff will block me. So, well, let's just see how this goes. This is going to go so slow. Yeah, I definitely want this on top of that. The little staircase going up there. Put this right on top of that. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything in my way. If there's nothing in my way right now, there won't be anything in my way later. So that will be fine. And then going from the picnic table to here will also be fine. It might be a little bit slow, but it's... um, Yeah, I kind of like it. Because it's nice to not have to like deal with all the, the enemies and the headaches and the stress of trying to run over there. Although this is too slow. If it's this slow, I'll probably just end up running over there. But I don't think it's going to be this slow. Got some more mosquitoes over here. And they're I'm pretty low now. So let's see if we get attacked. What the hell? A gnome? Mm, Garden. Sure if it's tacky or horrifying. Uh, well, it's tacky if you're big and it's horrifying if you're little. So there you go. Bunch of mosquitoes down there. I don't like that. Oh, threat detected. Here we go. Can he get me? And he can. And he knocks me right off. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> I was going to have to reload anyway. I think if I go through fast enough, though, that shouldn't be a problem. Mosquitoes are going to attack me all the time. Oh, that's not good. I did not expect that guy to be up here. Especially at this time of day. What the hell is going on? Damn, bro. What time of day is it? It's like freaking noon. Oh. That could be a problem. We might have to move our base up to here anyway. I don't know. Maybe we can move the base to the picnic table. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm really interested to see you guys have to say in the comments. But um, yeah, that zipline was 110% a big fail. But 
I've learned a lot, and that is awesome. And we got a lot of work done on the base. So anyway, guys, if you can end up, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.